gear up for an epic cinematic odyssey as we unveil the most eagerly awaited movies of 2024 and 2025. From the mysterious world of Madam Web to the irreverent humor of Deadpool 3 and the arrival of iconic characters like Blade and the Fantastic Four into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, these films promise a fresh perspective on superhero narratives, starting with Madam Web. So get this, the Marvel lineup for next year kicks off with a Sony movie that everyone's been buzzing about. Brace yourself for Madam Web, swinging into theaters on February 14, 2024, a couple of days earlier than planned thanks to some scheduling shuffling. And you won't believe the cast they've got for this one. It's like an all-star squad bringing the Marvel magic to life. Dakota Johnson takes the lead as Madam Web, joined by Sidney Sweeney as Julia Carpenter, Emma Roberts as Maddie Franklin, Isabella Merced as Anya Corazon, and Adam Scott thrown into the mix. What's really cool is that they're mixing things up with three different Spider-Man comic heroes. Not one, but two versions of Spider-Woman and Spider-Girl, all teaming up with Madam Web herself. In Marvel Comics land, the original Madam Web is Cassandra Webb, this cool elderly lady who's blind and paralyzed, but packs a serious punch with her multiverse hopping powers. Now, Tahar Rahim rocking a Spider-Man style suit on the Madam Web set? That's got fans speculating big time. It's like a hint of some major multiverse action, perfect for Madam Web's big screen debut. When you mix in Madam Web's comic book backstory, the awesome talent in the movie cast, and the whole multiverse craze taking over superhero stories right now, it's looking like this flick could be a real blockbuster. Deadpool 3 The third film in the hilarious X franchise is in the works, and it's being cooked up by none other than the former Bob's Burgers brainiacs, Lizzie Molyneux Logolin and Wendy Molyneux. Now, here's where it gets interesting. We're thinking this flick could be the X-Men's grand entrance, but with a Deadpool twist. You know how Deadpool, played by the awesome Ryan Reynolds, has this knack for breaking the fourth wall? Well, imagine him being the only dude aware that a major shakeup just went down. Picture him on a wild quest to figure out why his world's gone topsy-turvy, maybe even hunting down his long-lost flame Vanessa or realizing she never existed in this new reality. Details are a bit fuzzy, but back in 2021, Feige spilled the beans that this one's in the pipeline, and get this, it's going to be R-rated. Fast forward to March 2022, and we've got Sean Levy, the genius behind Free Guy and The Atom Project, stepping up to direct the show for some extraordinary fun. Hold on to your chimichangas, because the Deadpool 3 journey is getting wild. After the brainy duo Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, the masterminds behind Deadpool and Deadpool 2, jumped back into the writing game, things got even more exciting. Fast forward to September 2022, and guess who dropped a bomb on Twitter? Ryan Reynolds himself. In a cheeky teaser, he spilled the beans that he's kinda clueless about what to do with Deadpool this time around, except for one thing. He's on a mission to bring Hugh Jackman back as Wolverine one more time. Talk about a plot twist. Oh, and mark your calendars. Initially set for a September 6, 2024 release, Disney played with our emotions a bit and shifted it to November and then finally settled on May. But that's not all the excitement. In February 2023, Emma Corrin from The Crown signed up as the film's baddie, and then, boom, Matthew McFadden from Succession hopped on the Deadpool train in March. And hold your tacos because in May, Rob Delaney decided to grace us with his return as Peter, the totally regular human from X-Force. And that's not all. More familiar faces are making a comeback. Bakarin, Hildebrand, Katsuna, Uggams, Kapichik, and even Jennifer Garner as Elektra from her earlier gigs. First off, set photos spilled the beans on Hugh Jackman rocking a Wolverine costume that's straight out of the comics. Imagine him and Deadpool strolling through the wreckage of the old 20th Century Fox logo, a hint that they're toying with their new Disney digs. Now here's where it gets interesting. Filming kicked off but then hit pause in late spring 2023 due to some industrial action. But hey, every cloud has a silver lining. It gave them time to settle things and avoid some ad-libbing restrictions on Ryan Reynolds imposed by the WGA strike guidelines. Once the storm cleared, production picked up again, and Reynolds, being the tease master, hinted at a dog pool appearance. Oh, and a friendly reminder from the man himself, no spoilers, folks. Keep those set photos on the down low. And here's the kicker. 
Deadpool 3 is standing tall as the lone Marvel Studios release of 2024. Yep, you heard it right. All those other Marvel flicks initially lined up for next year, they've taken a detour to 2025. Now let's talk about how Deadpool 3 slides into the MCU. Brace yourself because this one's a bit of a game changer. It's the first R-rated MCU film which adds a spicy twist to the usual Marvel mix. In a way, it's like the rebel in the group doing its own thing. But here's where the plot thickens. We've got some hints that upcoming Marvel films might be dipping their toes into different realities. Picture this. Clea, played by the incredible Charlize Theron and Doctor Strange, a.k.a. Benedict Cumberbatch, are off on some cosmic journey to tackle an incursion. Now, here's where the speculation kicks in. Could this whole shindig be connected to Wade and his sudden cameo in the MCU? It's like Deadpool's making a splash in the Marvel pool, and we can't wait to see how it all unfolds. Craven the Hunter The next Sony Spider-Man Universe flick of 2024 is unleashing Craven the Hunter on August 30. Now, they did a little shuffle with the release date, pushing it back from October 3, 2023. Some might worry it could mess with the hype, but hey, it might actually be a smart move. Being a bit further from Morbius avoids the whole too-close-for-comfort situation. Here's the twist. Spider-Man won't be swinging by in Craven the Hunter, but Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's taking on the title role, has his sights set on a Spidey showdown in a potential Craven's Last Hunt sequel. Now here's the deal. The success of Craven is kind of a big deal. The plot is cooking up an altered origin story for Aaron Taylor Johnson's Craven, and it looks like they're aiming for him to be a Sony live-action universe anti-hero. If things go really well, we might even be in for a Sinister Six installment down the line. Venom 3 Get ready to sink your teeth into this. Venom 3 is hitting the screens on November 8, 2024, but not before a little shift from its original June 24 release. Now here's the deal. Venom 3 isn't just another sequel. It's like the key to unlocking the secrets of Sony's Marvel Universe. This flick has the power to answer some burning questions. Was that Spidey moment just a fun crossover or something more? And what's the grand plan for Sony's live-action Spider-Man universe? It's like the third act in Sony's blockbuster saga, and we're all eager to see how it unfolds. And hold on to your symbiotes, because Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is dropping hints that Venom 3 might be diving deep into the multiverse. Picture this. The villain from Spider-Verse is making a cameo in the Venom world, rubbing elbows with Mrs. Chen, the friendly convenience store owner from the live-action movies. Talk about crossing dimensions! But here's the catch. The story is still under wraps. Right now, all we know is that Tom Hardy is suiting up as Eddie Brock, and there's a mysterious cast with Juno Temple and Shweetal Ejiofor in undisclosed roles. The suspense is killing us! All we have is a teaser, and it's got fans buzzing with theories. Tom Hardy in all his Venom glory, screaming at graffiti of a dog. Now the speculation train is running full speed ahead. One theory is that Venom 3 might dive into the wild world of the Lobo Cartel, a gang straight out of the comics but with a twist. They're werewolves. Imagine Eddie Brock and Venom going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a pack of lycanthropic baddies. Howling good time, right? Alternatively, the teaser might be hinting at a symbiote showdown. Eddie and Venom on the hunt for another one of those gooey, dangerous creatures. Talk about a face-off of the symbiotes! But hey, let's not forget the simpler pleasure. Maybe the teaser is just promising a wild ride of unhinged anti-hero action. I mean, who wouldn't be excited for that? Whatever the plot twist, Venom 3 is shaping up to be one heck of a roller coaster. Captain America Brave New World Right after the final episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it was revealed that series writers Malcolm Spellman and Dalen Musson had started crafting the script for the fourth Captain America movie. The film will follow Sam Wilson as he takes on the mantle of Captain America in a world still recovering from the blip. There's speculation that the storyline might delve into his ties with the remaining Avengers. In July 2022, Julius Ona, known for the Cloverfield Paradox, was announced as the director. Kevin Feige disclosed the movie's title and release date at the 2022 Comic-Con presentation. At the D23 Expo in September, Feige confirmed Tim Blake Nelson's return as the leader, and Disney later verified the rumor that Harrison Ford would replace the late William Hurt as Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross. 
Marvel announced in February 2023 that Ross would be the President of the United States in the film. Liv Tyler, who last played Betty Ross in 2008's The Incredible Hulk, signed on to reprise her role in March. In June, Marvel unveiled a new subtitle, Brave New World, and postponed the release to July of the following year. Due to the 2023 WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes, Disney, in an ongoing effort to manage Marvel's release schedule and post-production challenges, moved the already completed film to 2025. So how it fits in the MCU? Well, as Sam Wilson takes on the role of Captain America and the Global Repatriation Council undergoes policy changes, it's anticipated that series like Ironheart will explore the geopolitical consequences. These developments will likely contribute to the challenges Sam faces in his inaugural Captain America film. The aftermath of the secret invasion also presents a substantial issue for him to address, assuming the events of the series unfolded in the standard 616 MCU. Any inconsistencies between Secret Invasion and the Marvels might suggest that one of them occurred in an alternate multiverse, Thunderbolts. In June 2022, Deadline announced that Jake Schreier, known for Robot and Frank, would direct a Thunderbolts film, catching many by surprise. The script, initially penned by Eric Pearson, underwent a change in March 2023, with Lee Sung Jin, creator of Beef, taking over. The Thunderbolts, originally conceived in the comics with Baron Zemo assembling villains to pose as heroes and replace the Avengers, evolved into a group with more flexible moral boundaries. At the D23 Expo in September 2023, Kevin Feige unveiled the team's lineup, including Contessa Valentina Allegra de la Fontaine, Ghost, Red Guardian, Yelena Belova, Bucky Barnes, U.S. Agent, and Taskmaster. Harrison Ford is set to appear as Ross. Io Edebiri joined the cast in January 2023, with Steven Yeun signing on a month later. Robert Kirkman, the creator of Invincible, later revealed that Yoon would portray Sentry, a Marvel equivalent to Superman. Originally scheduled for a December 2024 release, the film's date was shifted to July 2025, due to industry strikes and ongoing efforts to extend Marvel projects into 2027. So this one fit into the MCU? Besides the intriguing possibility of Zemo clandestinely assembling his own Avengers team, the introduction of the Thunderbolts in the MCU appears to be a strategic move to elucidate the presence and actions of the Contessa. Additionally, there's speculation about whether they might be called upon to step in for the Avengers in the face of a formidable threat potentially from Kang or another adversary of Thanos' magnitude. Given the film schedule outlined by Feige at Comic-Con, there's a question of whether the Thunderbolts might face significant challenges, leading to the need for a new Avengers lineup. Alternatively, the emergence of Kamala Khan's younger group could come into play. Fantastic Four At the 2019 Comic-Con, Feige briefly mentioned running out of time to discuss the Fantastic Four or Mutants, both of which are expected to join the MCU eventually. The prevailing expectation is that Marvel's first family will take precedence. Many online discussions propose placing them in the 1960s for their initial film, with the creative twist of having the world forget about them for decades, providing an elegant way to introduce them and explain their absence. This approach could also serve as a fitting replacement for the similarly time-displaced Steve Rogers. In December 2020, Marvel announced that John Watts, the director of Spider-Man Far From Home, would helm the project. However, in April 2022, just a week or so before John Krasinski made a cameo as Reed Richards in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Watts departed the project. Many anticipated Krasinski's possible direction of the movie, but he did not appear at the 2022 Comic-Con presentation. Feige, apart from disclosing the release date and its position as the Phase 6 opener, remained tight-lipped about the film. At the subsequent D23 Expo, he confirmed that Matt Shackman, known for WandaVision, would direct, and later, Jeff Kaplan and Ian Springer were announced as the scriptwriters. In March 2022, Josh Friedman from Avatar The Way of Water signed on to write a new draft of the script. Finally, after years of speculation, Pedro Pascal was revealed in November 2023 as the actor set to portray Reed Richards. So it'll connect to the MCU? 
The Fantastic Four come with a surprisingly extensive lineup of adversaries. Frankly, the prospect of seeing Doctor Doom, Annihilus, and Galactus making their MCU debuts generates more excitement than the introduction of the Richards family itself. However, given Kang's involvement in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, it's evident that the family will play a crucial role. Now that we understand this is the multiverse saga, there's a lingering question about whether the film, along with the majority of Phase 6 films, will unfold outside the confines of the MCU. Blade Feige surprised the 2019 Comic-Con audience with the announcement that Mahershala Ali would portray Blade in the MCU. While many details about the upcoming film are still in flux, some aspects are taking shape, such as Stacey Osei Kufour signing on as the writer and Feige confirming it will have a PG-13 rating. In July 2021, it was revealed that Bassam Tariq would direct the movie. Delroy Lindo was cast in November 2021, and though his role is uncertain, speculations arose about him potentially playing Jamal Afari, Blade's mentor in the comics, who was reimagined as Whistler in the first Blade film trilogy. Aaron Pierre joined the cast in February, and the departure of Tariq in fall 2022 not only delayed Blade, but also impacted other productions on the calendar. Yann Demange took over as the new director in September 2022, with Michael Starbury working on a new script. Mia Goth joined the cast in April 2023, and Nick Pizzolatto, the creator of True Detective, assumed writing duties. However, with the onset of the Writers Guild strike on May 2nd, uncertainty surrounds whether Pizzolatto's draft was completed and if production can proceed without him. The actor strike further delayed Blade. As the strikes were resolved, Disney rescheduled the film for a November 2025 release. In terms of its place in the MCU, while the universe encompasses science, mysticism, cosmic entities, and traditional street crime, it lacks authentic monsters. Blade, originating from Marvel Comics' The Tomb of Dracula, is expected to lead us into a darker corner of the MCU, delving into supernatural elements and creatures. Despite his proficiency with a sword, facing literal demons from the Marvel Universe may pose a greater challenge. As for a concrete connection to the MCU, the character made a cryptic appearance in Eternals, intervening in Dane Whitman's pivotal moment and hinting at a link between the two corners of the Marvel Universe. Avengers The Kang Dynasty The upcoming fifth Avengers film is expected to play a crucial role in concluding the multiverse saga, potentially with Kang assuming a central position hinted at by its original name. On July 26, 2022, it was reported that Destin Daniel Cretton would direct the film. Subsequently, in September of the same year, Jeff Loveness, the writer for Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, was enlisted to craft the script. During the Quantumania press tour, Loveness teased that the film would be a bloodbath and would serve as inspiration for the next generation of Avengers. However, in November 2023, both Loveness and Cretton departed from the project, with Michael Waldron taking over scripting duties. Additionally, reports suggest that the film might no longer carry the Kang Dynasty subtitle, and the current working title is simply Avengers 5. As for how it fits into the bigger picture of MCU, given Kang's repeated references to starting a dynasty in Quantumania, it's likely that the film will depict him achieving this goal. However, with the next Avengers film scheduled a year after the release of The Kang Dynasty, there's speculation about the possibility of additional Phase 6 stories being told during Kang's reign. Of course, it remains possible that the film could take a completely different direction if Marvel Studios decides to move away from the Kang storyline altogether. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse DVD Originally conceived as two parts of the same movie, the next two installments in Sony's Academy Award-winning animated Spider-Verse movie franchise were separated. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse hit theaters in June 2023 and achieved massive critical and commercial success. Subsequently, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse was initially slated for release on March 29, 2024. However, due to changes in Sony's Marvel movie plans, the release date for Beyond the Spider-Verse has been removed, and its pending release is now listed as undetermined, primarily due to the impact of the SAG-AFTRA strikes. While the strikes did not affect animators, 
they did affect the actors lending their voices to the characters in the movie. A source within the Spider-Verse animator team also suggested that the original March 2024 release date might not be feasible since the production was not at a stage to meet this timeline. This implies that although a 2024 release for Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse is still possible, delaying the movie into 2025 may be a realistic and even preferable option, depending on the evolving circumstances. Well, that's it. Stay tuned for more updates. Let us know what you are most excited for, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest news on these highly anticipated films. We'll see you in the next video.